Children Dasher, it is sure nice for you all to be here to listen to stories about Christmas and about the North Pole that Dasher and I are going to tell you. Mrs. Santa Claus couldn't make it, and that's why Dasher is here. We're here to tell you the stories, right, Dasher? Right, Santa. Oh, yes, Santa. Please tell stories about the North Pole and Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Of course Santa will tell you stories. Now bend your ear and listen closely. At the North Pole is where Santa lives, as you know, in all that cold and with all that snow. Mrs. Claus and I have a nice warm home and room for everyone. Room for all my reindeer and for all the elves that make the toys for you at Christmas. All year I stay at the North Pole planning how many toys to make for the coming year. Mrs. Claus and I like to plan for each Christmas and we have for many, many years. Some of you children have asked me, Santa, how old are you? And of course, I have to tell you, I'm hundreds and hundreds of years old. You see, children, the reason Santa Claus looks the same every year at Christmas is because he loves everyone so much. And when you or your friends love everyone, you never really grow old. Say, do you know that Santa has two sleighs? Yes, that's right. Oh, yes, sir, two sleighs. One is for red for the snowy nights and snowy countryside so that Santa Claus and his reindeer can be seen easier. When there is no snow, we use a white sleigh so that airplanes and people can see us coming too. Did you children know that Santa, my elves, my reindeer, and Mrs. Claus have a Christmas party? Ho, 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 yes, sir. We all exchange something with each other. Why, just last Christmas, Santa received from his reindeer and Dasher a big seven-foot Christmas card for a gift. And on the inside of that card, it said, To our Daddy and our Santa, from all of the ones that love you. Well, that was sure a nice Christmas gift for me, to have all that love from so many wonderful friends. Would you believe, children, that you can have Christmas all year round just by being good to each other? and making everyone happy? Some of you have asked me, how cold is it, Santa, at the North Pole? Well, children, it's very cold, and it's so cold, it's way below zero. Now, if you're not sure what that means, you ask your daddy, and I'm sure he'll tell you. I wish all of you could see my workshop at the North Pole. I know you have seen some of them at Christmas time in your hometown and the cities that you live, and you also have seen Santa's helpers dressed just like me. I have them dressed just like Santa, so children who don't get a chance to see me in person can see what I look like. Don't you think that's a good idea, children? Of course, many of you have seen Santa, and I'm looking forward again to seeing you this year. My workshop at the North Pole is so big that sometimes, ho, 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 sometimes I get lost trying to find all of the elves. Ho, 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 yes, it's so big. There are so many things in it that when Christmas time comes, I have to start to pack my sleigh three weeks ahead of time so I can be ready for Christmas Eve. So you see, children, it takes Santa a long, long time to get ready for his trip. Say, did you know, children, that Santa knows when you're good or bad every day of the year? Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, sir. And you know I put it down in my big book, don't you? Well, here's something you didn't know. Dasher, right here, the deer I bought with me, Dasher is the one that tells me if you're good or bad. That's right. How does he know? Well, Dasher's a very special deer. He's my oldest deer. And it's because of his eyes, that's why. You see, his eyes are so perfect that he can see anything and everything all around the world, any place, at any time. That's why he knows if you're good or bad all year round, because he can see you. Now, I know many times you children ask me what I would like to eat when I come to your home and what you should leave for the reindeer. Well, if you have a pencil handy, why don't you write it down? Oh, if you don't have a pencil, and if you can't write it down, why don't you ask your mother to come and help you? I'm sure she will. Ho, 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 ho. I shouldn't even let you know what I like to eat because I'm so roly-poly now. You could leave cookies and, let's see, candy and, no, 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 no candy. Oh, that's very sweet and, and it's very good. Uh, but Santa, well, I had too much this year already. Yes, it's good, all right, but, you know, it's bad for my teeth, too. Now, let's see. Cookies and milk and cocoa, small sandwiches, fruit, and, well, maybe some popcorn. Please remember uh, not to leave anything in the oven, children right in that oven because uh, I don't have much time to stay. 
So let's see now, the reindeer, what would they like? Oh yes, I'm sure the children won't forget. Oh, let's see, the reindeer, they like, uh, what was that? What, Dasher? What did you say? Oh, well, don't worry, the children won't forget. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Sugar for sure, fruit, cookies, nuts, and candy. Just about everything. And, yes, Dasher, what was that you asked for? No, really? Brrr. Oh, my, my, that's funny, Dasher. Do you know what he wants you to leave, children? <laughs> well, slide up close here and I'll tell you. I don't want everyone to hear this. Dasher wants ice cream. Oh, imagine that cold ice cream out in that cold air. Brrr. Oh, it makes Santa Claus so chilly just thinking about it. Well, maybe one of you can leave Dasher some ice cream. If he wants it, it's all right with Santa. I know that some of you wonder why some children get many gifts at Christmas time and only others receive a few. Is it because you were better boys and girls than they were, or did I just forget? Well, no, I don't forget anyone. But the reason some do get more than others is because Santa wants to see who really is good and loves his playmates and parents the way they should. Maybe a little boy or girl like you will only get one gift. But don't feel bad. And don't feel that we forgot about you or because Santa Claus and your parents don't love you. No, because we love you very much. It's because we love you very much and we know you will be thankful for what Santa gives you and that you will share it and share the love that comes with it with everyone. And for you boys and girls that get many gifts, well, here is where you will have your chance to show your mommy, your daddy, and Santa Claus just how really good you would like to be. Here is where you can share a lot of presents with your brothers and sisters and the many little children who do not have as much as you have. This is when I know when little boys or girls say, I love you, Santa, if they really do love me. Because, my dear children, if you love someone like your parents, and your brothers, and your sisters, and friends, and playmates, all you have to do is to let them know it by telling it to them and by sharing the things that you have with them. And when you do this, I know that you do love Santa Claus. And now, children, if you just stay quiet for a few minutes, I would like to tell you a story about a small boy and the love for his donkey. And don't go away. I'm coming right back. children come up real close while well, Santa tells you the story about the donkey small one many years ago there lived a woodcutter who had a boy just about your age the woodcutter also had five donkeys one of the donkeys was much much older than the other donkeys and was not quite as strong or as pretty as the rest of the donkeys either his name was small one he was a good donkey, and he had worked long and hard for his master. Oh, but now he was starting to move much slower than the other donkeys. Small One and the woodcutter's son were very close friends, and they loved each other very much. Small One was the boy's very, very favorite pet, and you could always see them together wherever they went. One day the woodcutter said, My son, my son, it's time you took that donkey to town and stop at a shop inside the town gates. And there you'll find a man who will give you one piece of silver for him. Well, the boy was surprised and said to his father, Oh, father, you can't sell my donkey. Why, he has been so faithful. He has been so good through all these years. And he has so many more years of work left in him. Please don't sell him. Enough of this, said the woodcutter. Take him to town now and stop at the second shop inside the town gates. And the man will give you a piece of silver to bring home. Well, at this moment, the boy remembered who owned that shop in town. It was the man called the tanner, the tanner who made leather out of animals' hides. Oh, no, oh, no, said the boy. He will be killed there and sold for leather. No, no, not small one, not my donkey. 
The father spoke to the boy and said, He is old and of no use to anyone. Now take him to town and be quick about it. The boy and the donkey headed down the street with tears in their eyes. On the way to town, the boy thought, The horse market. Maybe, maybe I can sell, yes, maybe I can sell a small one at the horse market. Oh, if someone could only buy him there, someone who would not beat him or be mean to him. The marketplace was very busy at noon, and many other animals were being sold also. The boy could hear the auctioneer's voice ring out over the crowd. How much am I bid for this fine mare horse? Forty pieces of silver. Do I hear fifty? Fifty. And as the auctioneer went on calling for bids, the little boy walked around the crowd, trying to sell his donkey to someone. Sir, see this fine donkey, sir? For one piece of silver and a good home, you can have him. Get that ragged animal away from me, boy. Be gone now. Go. Go away with that, that ugly animal. The boy turned away with his head hung down and walked on through the crowd, tears falling from his face. He stopped time and time again to ask people to buy his donkey, but every time he stopped, the people just laughed at him and laughed at his donkey. The boy finally thought of asking the auctioneer to sell his donkey for him, but the auctioneer said, What? Sell that ugly, broken-down animal? Ha! Huh. And a tail. Or is it a tail? Why, it's like the end of a broom. And the crowd of people laughed. And the auctioneer continued to say nasty things about the donkey. No, please don't say that. No, said the little boy, as tears came down his cheeks. He's not an ugly animal. He's a fine donkey. Why, why he's fine enough to be in a king's stable. And someday, someday you just might find him there. All right now, boy, please move on. We've wasted enough time with you and that donkey. And so with the auctioneer's fading voice in their ears, the boy and his donkey left the marketplace. The day had gone by quickly, and he had to have the piece of silver for his father. It was close to sundown when the boy and small one stood outside the tanner's door. The boy's hand caressed the drooping ear and patted the worn coat for the last time. Then, just as he lifted the latch of the tanner's door, a voice spoke to him from the street. My son? My son? Yes, yes, the boy turned hopefully. Yes, sir. A bearded, poorly dressed man detached himself from the crowd that was moving towards the town's gates. My son, tell me, are you the owner of this small donkey? Y y yes sir yes I am I have a long journey to make and my wife is not well I have a great need of a strong gentle animal to carry her safely oh oh sir small one is very strong and, and very trustworthy too sir oh yes I can believe that would you be good enough to sell him to me oh yes sir the boy's heart sang at the miracle yes sir yes sir the price is but one piece of silver. The man was looking at Small One's drooping ear. I is, is that too much, sir? Too much? No, that isn't too much. The man smiled down at him. Why, that's very reasonable for such a beautiful animal. The boy was almost overcome by this unexpected appreciation of Small One. His happiness at having saved Small One's life was now lost in the dreadful pain of losing him. Goodbye, Small One. Goodbye, and, and be faithful to your new master, Small One. The man helped a woman up into Small One's back. And as the boy's eyes met hers, it seemed to him that, yes, there was a bright, radiant glow, and it was shining about her head. As the man led Small One out of the town's gates, the voice of the guard called out a sharp command. Wait. One moment, traveler. Yes. Yes, soldier. Don't you know... Don't you know the gates of the city close at sundown? By all rights, I should make you remain here, this night. However, the guard shrugged his shoulders and said, What is your name? My name is Joseph. And your wife? They call her Mary. Your destination? The man looked out at the hills and beyond the gates. Why, we journeyed to Bethlehem. Pass, traveler. And so Joseph and Mary and Small One passed through the town's gates, and the donkey's hooves rang sharply on the stones of the road. 
and the sound was very much, very, very much like music. Goodbye. Goodbye, small one. And be gentle and sure of foot. Be gentle and carry her safe to Bethlehem. Safe to Bethlehem, small one. Bethlehem, the birthplace of the baby Jesus. And that also, children, was what we call the first Christmas. The first Christmas morning, the morning the Christ child was born. You see, that's what Christmas really means, children. It's the birthday of Jesus. Just like you and I have a birthday, just like mommy and daddy have a birthday, this was the birthday of Jesus. And this is why we should always share our gifts and our love with everyone, but especially at Christmas time, to celebrate the story of the baby Jesus. Isn't that a wonderful story, children? Santa loves it very, very much. Children, Santa wants to tell you about someone who loves you very much. And this someone watches over you every night, just like your mommy, just like your daddy do. He also watches over me, Santa Claus. You all know him. His name is God. He is the one that has given Santa Claus all the things to make your toys and clothes with. He is the one that helps you and I when we're sick and has the answers to all our problems through our prayers. God is the one that has given everything to Santa Claus all these years. Everything Santa gives to you, boys and girls, comes from God. The only thing that he wants me to do in return is to love everyone as much as I can. And you know, boys and girls, that Santa loves you all so very much. What does Santa want for Christmas? I'll tell you what I would like for Christmas. You boys and girls can give Santa a very nice Christmas gift if you want to. Someday, tomorrow, the next day, maybe this Christmas, every Christmas, every year, when you see your mommy or your daddy, your brothers or your sisters or your relatives or your friends or your playmates next door, children, just walk up to them and say to them, I love you. I love you very much. Children, this is the nicest thing that you can give Santa Claus for Christmas. It's the nicest thing that you can give to anyone for Christmas. Anyone at all. And they'd be so happy to have it. And remember that I love you too, my dear children, very, very much. So long, Dasher, since I've sung Jingle Bells. Children, hundreds of years ago I used to sing this song and say, why not? Why don't we all sing it together? Would you like that? All right now, the next time it comes back to dashing through the snow, we'll start from there, okay? All right, now don't forget, get ready now. Boy, this ought to be fun, Dasher. All right, children, we're about there now. Let's go! Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ho ho, bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Come on, kids, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Now, before we sing some more, you all have to sing louder. I know you can do better than that. You children aren't singing, some of you. Dasher just told me now. And he knows, because he's got those perfect eyes and he can see things with. And if you all do a better job, we'll all sing some more songs and I'll tell you a story about what I see before Christmas night, okay? All right then, now do a good job. 
start with dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Okay, Santa will tell you when to go. Okay, now. Here we go. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go. Ho, ho, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Ho, oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. That's better. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Ho, ho! Up on the house top too. How about singing this one? Remember now, up on the house top, click, click, click. Ho, ho, ho. Okay now. Get ready to go. All right. Here we go. Up on the house top, reindeers pause. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys. And all for the little ones, Christmas joys. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the house top, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. First comes a stocking of little Nell. Oh, dear Santa, fill it well. Give her a dolly that laughs and cries. One that will open and shut her eyes. Ho, 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 who wouldn't know? Ho, 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 who wouldn't know? Ho, oh, up on the house top, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Ho, 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 that was very good. Very, very good, children. Now let's see, there's one more verse. Would you like to do that? All right, now it starts out. Say, next comes a stocking of little Will. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Next comes a stocking of little Will. Oh, just see what a glorious fill. Here is a hammer and lots of tacks. Also a ball and a whip that cracks. Ho, 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 who would know? Ho, 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 who would go? Up on the house top, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Ho, ho, beautiful children. Oh, that was so nice. So very nice. Now. If you'd like to hear the story about what Santa sees the night before Christmas, I will do that next for you. So you come right back here and listen closely, okay? <laughs> yes, children. It's coming to that time. It's coming to that night before Christmas, when I come to your house. Well, what does Santa see when he comes to your house? You've heard about the story about the night before Christmas. Well, now Santa's gonna tell you what he sees when he comes to your house, when he's in your house, and when he leaves your house. Santa's night before Christmas. <laughs> the night before Christmas, when I come to your house, no one should be waiting up, not even your mouse, and hang your stockings with the greatest of care, because it won't be long before I am there. Now you children should be tucked away in your beds, so you're sure to see Santa through the dreams in your head. Your mummy and daddy will be settling down too, and all through the night they'll be checking on you. Oh, it won't be long now before they come to see what's the matter. They're sure to hear the bells, and they're sure to hear the clatter. Oh, I can see them now as they come to the window in a flash. Your mummy shouts, there's Santa. As your daddy, your daddy makes a dash. The moon that shines bright on the roof of your house makes the snow light up, brighter than the eyes of a mouse. When what to my wondering eyes do I see? Behold a chimney rising with smoke. Oh, but just big enough for me. With a quick turn of the sleigh and a quick turn from my dear, I start for your house, coming nearer, nearer, and nearer. Faster than planes and faster than trains, my reindeer flew faster as I shouted their names. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, 
on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blitzen, to the top of your porch, to the top of your wall. Now dash away, dash away, fly away all. As the snow that blows so wild in the sky, as light as the eagle that soars as he flies, so up to your housetop my reindeer will go, up to your housetop through all that snow. Now if you children happen to wake, you just better lie there and listen and make no mistake, that prancing and pawing you hear on the roof is just my reindeer dasher and the sound of his hoofs. From the sleigh I will jump with a leap and a bound, and you'll have no doubt that Santa made that loud sound. The bundle of toys that I have in my pack could get quite heavy if they stayed on my back. I can hear you children say as I approach, Oh Santa, oh Santa, what will you do? We have no chimney, no chimney for you. Oh, with a hand on my brow and the other on my chin. Don't worry, dear children. Santa will think of a way to get in. Imagine to see Santa not able to get in and my face all red. But for your mummy's and daddy's sake, you had better stay in bed. My eyes have a twinkle, my cheeks have a glow, and the beard that I have is like new fallen snow. The dimples that I have seem to show merry, and the longer I stay, my nose turns red cherry. The smile I have turns into a glee when I look and behold what I see. A Christmas tree with a trim of holly. Oh, to see this warm sight makes Santa feel jolly. To be jolly is to laugh, and with my round belly, ho ho, if you were to see me, you would say it was jolly. Time is passing fast, and as everyone knows, Santa never rests. He just goes, goes, goes. With a twist of my head, I'll turn to see if you really got out of bed to spy on me. My suit is red and my fur is white, and it's a very warm suit for a very, very chilly night. Before I come in, I want you to do what you said. Remember when you told Mommy and Daddy how you would stay in bed? And just to be sure I have left everything, I will count the presents while I sing. Now a cock of my hat and a twinkle of my eye and up the chimney I go, for morning draws nigh. As I spring to my sleigh and think over my stop, let me remind you to look in your sock. And also to say that I liked your house and made it a point not to forget your mouse. If you're still not asleep, as we leave in the night, there's one thing you might do with all of your might. Please say a prayer, if you will, for those who need care. And remember to wish them a Merry Christmas before Santa gets there. A very Merry Christmas. Oh, this is a song about about me, jolly old St. Nicholas. Well, would you children mind if I sang along with you? We have to sing three verses now. Talk about Susie and Johnny, all of them. Okay, I'll sing with you. Jolly old St. Nicholas, lean your ear this way. Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now you dear old man, Whisper what you bring to me, tell me if you can. When the clock is striking twelve, when I'm fast asleep, down the chimney broad and black, with your pack you'll creep. All the stockings you will find hanging in a row. Mine will be the shortest one, you'll be sure to know. Johnny wants a pair of skates, Susie wants a dolly, Nellie wants a storybook. She thinks dolls are folly. As for me, my little brain isn't very bright. Choose for me, old oh Santa Claus, what do you think is right? Well, Dasher, it's about time we 
got ready to go. Santa has to go, children. Got many things to do. A lot of things to pack and get ready for Christmas. Don't go, Santa. Oh, sweetheart, darling. Santa has to go. There's so many things to do for Christmas. Will you come back? Why, of course Santa will come back. After all, what about Christmas Eve? Remember, the night before Christmas? Well, that's when Santa will be there. Santa has to get started right now and pack things. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, darling, what can Santa do for you? I love you, Santa. You love Santa? Santa loves you too, darling. Let's see, I, I think I've got everything. My boots, where's, where's Dasher? Dasher, Dasher, get up in that sleigh. All right, here we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>